Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Z and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, angels. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> now, have a wee seat by the shelves. Today, we are going to play the copying game. Okay, ready? <laughs> There's all different ways you can do. You can do the royal way. Hello. Hello. There's the excited wave. <gasps> An excited two-hand wave. Well done, my darlings. Huh? Well, we've got Adil and we've got Zane. But someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, here's Bobby with Kai. <laughs> Hello, dear. We've been doing lots of smiles and waves to each other. <laughs> Ooh, just like the Queen. Oh, here, darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as the Queen with a crown and a royal wave? <laughs> and I'll tell you a right royal story over to the chairs. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, when I was a little girl, yes. the Queen came to visit River Seafingle. Really? The Queen! Mm -hmm. And I waited ages and ages and eventually she came by in one of those open-top vehicles. <laughs> and I'm sure she smiled at me and waved. <gasps> wow! The Queen smiled and waved at you! Oh, Granny Murray, that must have been fantastic! Oh, it was! It really made my day! <laughs> you know, there's someone at the depot who always makes my day by smiling and waving at me. Oh, who's that, darling? Well, I think his name is Peter. And whenever I'm leaving work in the morning, he toots the horn on his bus and he gives me such a big smile and a wave that it makes me want to do backflips and somersaults. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I've always wanted to buy him a little something just to say thank you for brightening up my day. But what should I get for him? Oh, just a wee thing. After all, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, you're right, Granny Murray. It is. Oh, well. I'd best get off. Oh, look at Claude. He looks very regal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're looking swell, Claude. Oh, your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to say bye-bye to Mummy, darling. Bye-bye. Oh, Kai, that's lovely. Hey, whenever I smile and wave, I'll think of you. Oh. I'll see you later. Come on. Bye. <laughs> Remember, it's the thought that counts. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting Which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, Drain. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me. 
for that. Right, what's first? That's right, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh no, I forgot to get Peter's present from the newsagents. Hello? Oh, hello Mickey John. What are you up to? Hi Bobby, uh, I wanted to ask you a favour. Ask away. Well, I'm collecting used bus tickets for a fun project at school. Ooh, sounds interesting. Yes, I want the children to think about all the different things they could make out of used bus tickets. And you'd like me to collect some tickets for you? Yes, please. Yeah, that's no problem. But I haven't actually started work yet. Why don't you come back a bit later on and I'll, I'll see what I can find. Thanks, Bobby. Just off to the cinema now. Oh, what are you going to see? Well, they're showing a season of Laurel and Hardy films, so I'm hoping for a good laugh. <laughs> actually... Could you do something for me? I certainly could. I need to get my friend Peter a present. Do you think you could get me something from the newsagents on the way back? Happy to. Well, i better be going. See you later, Bobby. <laughs> Bye, Mickey John. Oh, whenever I smile and wave, I think of my Kai. I wonder what he's getting up to right now. I love to skip in rivers and Hey, we're going to sort out all this rubbish and take it to the recycling. Now, where's your cardboard? Here. Good boy. Can you put that in the blue? That's good boy. And all the newspapers all go in this blue one as well. And material in the yellow one. Glass in this middle one. Oh, <laughs> will you look at that guy? <laughs> A smiley face. Remember what your mum said? She said, Every time she smiles and waves, she thinks of you. <laughs> mm. I missed you, Mummy. Oh. There. I can see my face in it now. Well, almost. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Bobs. Oh, hello, you two. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. <laughs> I've saved you some boxes, Bobby, from the market. Boxes? I'll go and stack them up for you. OK. Um, come in, Rudy. Um, yeah, you asked me to call round with some boxes from the stall. Oh, yes, Rudy, I'm so sorry. I clean forgot. Do you still want them? Yeah, it's just that when I'm cleaning the buses, I quite often find lost little things that it seems a shame to throw away, but they're too small to go into the lost property. So I need the boxes to store them in. <laughs> it sounds like you've got your own recycling thing going on. Exactly, that's what I'm planning. That's a great idea. Right, should we go and give Louis a hand? <gasps> oh no, what's Louis done? Oh no, Louis blocked us in with all of the boxes. <laughs> How are we going to get out? Right, there's only one thing for it. Stand back, Rudy. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Louis, that is great, but I don't think I need quite so many as that. OK. Well, what exactly are you planning to do with them? I'm going to recycle the things from the bus that are too small for lost property. Great idea! It is, isn't it? I might take some home and do the same sort of thing. I could paint them up and then recycle envelopes and old music and all sorts of things! <laughs> oh no, look at the time! I'd best get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes Shining up the headlamps for the night time show Bright and beaming bus The day away, swinging to the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This boss is stopping, dropping, picking up and putting down. This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under. Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks.
dogs the moon while she bobs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses So they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead Plastic bottle, that'll come in handy Time for a break Let's see what I've collected so far to sort out into my recycling boxes. A plastic bottle, an assortment of buttons, um, loads of bus tickets. Those will come in useful for Mickey John. Um, a bit of wool, a scrap of fabric, mm, nice colour, and some phone cards. Whew, not bad for one shift. Oh, and someone left a bag of shopping that needs to go into lost property. Oh, this is Kai's favourite cereal. I wonder what my lovely Kai is up to right now. Look what I see, the scary monster. Oh, so you have? That's brilliant. Can I take it home to show Mummy? Of course you can, darling. We'll put it up here. Now, you snuggle into bed, big boy. That's the way. Good boy. Mr. Big in. <laughs> Sleep tight, Angel. I wonder if you're in bed yet, Kai. Hello? Oh. oh, hello, Mickey John. Hey, how was your film? It was hilarious. Uh, Laurel and Hardy had all their money stolen, so they had to become bandits. But they were hopeless. And then uh, Laurel, or is it Hardy, did... Uh, that's another fine mess you got me into. <laughs> it sounds great. It was. Oh, there's your bus tickets, Mickey John. Oh, wow. What a lot. That's fantastic. That's just what I need. Thanks, Bobby. Um, Mickey John? Yes? Did you manage to get me a present from the newsagents for Peter? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, never mind. That's another fine mess I got you into. <laughs> never mind. Off you go, Mickey John. Don't forget your bus tickets. OK, well, if you're sure. See you later. Bye. Oh, dear. I really did want to get Peter a present before morning, but it's too late now. All the shops will be shut. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Kai to Granny Murray's house. The children dressed Claude up as the Queen and Granny Murray told me how the Queen had once waved to her and smiled at her. Someone waving and smiling at you really cheers you up. I wanted to buy something for Peter because he always cheers me up when he waves and smiles at me in the morning. At 8 o'clock, Mickey John arrived looking for old bus tickets. I asked him to buy a small present for Peter when he returned from seeing a film. At 9 o'clock, I was thinking about Kai when Rudy and Louie brought me some boxes to start my own recycling project. We had a bit of difficulty getting through the door. I kept four boxes and at 10 o'clock, I took a break to see what I'd collected for recycling. At 11 o'clock, Mickey John came back from seeing his film and to pick up his bus tickets for the project at school. He'd had a great time, but he'd forgotten about bringing me a present for Peter. And now it's so late that the shops are shut. Now remember, it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts? I knew all this stuff would come in handy. I know just what to do. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Ta da! Look, it's a smiley, happy man. <laughs> Peter is gonna love this when he arrives at work in the morning. I reckon Kai would love something like this too.
I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Hi, Pete. Hi. I've made this for you. It's just to say thanks for cheering me up in the mornings when you smile and you wave at me. Oh, thanks, Bobby. You've really made my day. <laughs> wow. Bye. Bye. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. It's the thought that counts. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. You'd better be off. Come on, you. Right, come on Twinkle, let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hacking, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the Queen. He did look grand. Before bedtime, Kai helped me sort some rubbish into recycling boxes. While Kai was in bed, he made an interesting smiley face to save for Bobby. While Kai and I were sleeping, Bobby was busy making a present for Peter out of bits and bobs she'd found on the buses. We all started our day with a smile. And Peter liked Bobby's present so much, it made his day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.